on everyone for Rex Fargo checking in. We're gonna change up the scenery a little bit. It's a nice day outside. You see the snow is melting behind me. Happy Friday. Today is actually February 26th, 2021. I'm just gonna do the webinar recap a little bit differently, right? So pretty much if you guys were watching, um, if you have previously watched the webinar, we had spoken about the fact that we were going to probably see some DXY, you know, weakness. And then from that weakness level, we can see that price literally reached down to our 89.750 level, which you can see over here, right? And then from that level, as you can see, it was retested on the higher time frames daily in the four hour. And then from there, we can see that we had a huge push from uh, 89.750 all the way back up to about 90 point, you know, 950 or so, right? Now, because of that, what ended up resulting, right, you had U.S. strength, okay, so in the first half of the week, what ended up happening is the dollar index literally was trading downwards, right, so we had some bearish momentum, we were collecting some liquidity from the demand level, which was uh, promptly, you know, waiting around 89.750, right, uh, then what had happened, like I was previously stating, price ended up reaching this demand level and shot up, so because that happened, following pairs, AU, GU, um, um, NU, right, give you an example, so AU literally boomed from, I think, 77 cents all the way back up to, like, 79 cents, from 79 cents, we get some higher time frame resistance levels, and then price crashed all the way back down to 77 cents, so that's about a 200 pip weekly candle, or just on EU itself, uh, on GU, I believe we reached all the way to the highs of 142.500 or so, right, from 142.500 on the weekly and monthly time frames, you can see that these are levels being held up from 2018, right, so, um, you know, from those levels, price literally had the push up with the bullish momentum and the bearish momentum on the dollar index. However, when we got to the 89.750 on the dollar index, when we got to the 142.500 on GU, you can see that that's when you start to see in these reversals. And these reversals were quite huge for a few reasons. Uh, one, it is a weekly candle. It is Friday, and this is probably, I believe, the monthly candle closing. So we got three factors as to why today was extremely volatile, and also why I didn't necessarily trade this weekend. You know, while I was just trying to get the right mindset, right? So moving on, uh, we also uh, we're looking at GJ, right? So GJ buys ended up reaching the highs of 150. From 150, we ended up reaching some, you know, obviously some resistance levels, and we ended up crashing back down. Uh, maybe not crashing back down, but we ended up the retracement and bearish momentum back to the downside of I believe 39,750 or so. Uh, USD CAD, right? So USD CAD, there was a beautiful sell from USD CAD um, from 126 all the way to 125. One, once price got to 125, respectively, if you look on the higher time frames, that's about a triple bottom, uh, a double bottom, however you want to look at it on all time frames, right? So from there, once again, liquidity was being collected, and then you know you get all these orders, all these orders, price loads up with follow along with price action, and then you got these beautiful bullish momentum, and then price literally uh, once again. Uh, move from 125 to 127, right? So this is the Forex Fargo weekly webinar, uh, the recap. I will see you guys next week. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for next week. All right, welcome back, everyone, for the more traditional view on the computer screen. So we'll just take a few minutes just to, you know, um, go ahead and get more depth real quick. So looking at February 21st, we'll go ahead and press the replay button. Uh, if you watched the webinar from last week, and if you have not, go ahead and look at the link in the description. factors the fact that it was you know um weekly ending candle monthly ending candle and then the fact that it was a friday all three of those factors happened to lead to you know huge bullish and bearish momentum so there was just big fuck you candles um, throughout all of them but if you happen to catch some pips this week you know just you i actually just sat back and watched the market all week and uh you know it was extremely hard to do but Dollar.
right? So GU, similar. I believe I spoke about GU being somewhere around, I think it was somewhere over here, right? No, before that. Excuse me. 21st. This actually would have been another trade that I want, right? So taking a loss on AU is really nothing. Um, taking a loss on AU is nothing when you know you just you just following along with your pairs, right? So pretty much this is what was happening on USD CAD. USD CAD fucking fell. 